us to another episode in a series of episodes in which we continue looking at the August 2024 Mathematics paper team. If you haven't seen the other episodes, please check out on our YouTube channel or download the companion app that you are seeing on the right hand side of your screen. In this app, you are going to find a lot of materials that are going to be helpful to you. You are going to find quizzes based on the topical exam pass papers. You are going to find over 10,000 questions with few solutions, instant solution and detailed explanation. We look at question 22. 22 elites. The diagram below shows a sketch of a graph of y equals x squared plus 3x plus 2, passing through the points A and B. Find the Roman number 1 coordinates of A and of B. Roman number 2 minimum turning point. B solve the equation 81 minus 27 to the power x equals 0. Okay. And if you look at this question, this question carries 6 marks. And this question is always in question 22. In 90% of the case. So, let's start by A. So, A is asking us to find the coordinates of A and B. So, A, if we start with A, at A, the value of y equals 0. At b, the value of x equals 0. That's the difference. So, we can easily solve for b. For b, we just plug in. We plug in x0, x0 here, x0. So, what you notice at b, this is much more straightforward. So, we just start with a, then we go to b, then o. We will now move to question B. So we are at A, Loma numero 1. At A, the value of y equals 0. So in this equation, whatever there is in y, we substitute for 0. So here we are going to put a 0. So it will be 0 equals x squared plus 3x plus 2. Now this is a quadratic equation. So it will give us two values. It will also give us in the coordinates at this point, but we are interested in A on it. So at this point we just solve, so x squared plus 3x plus 2 equals 0. So we look for the, the product, so the product is 1 in front here times the 2 here, so we're going to get a 2. Then what are the two numbers, or two factors, in such a way that when we multiply them they'll give us a 2, when you sum them they'll give us a 3, which is here the sum. So we have the sum of 3, so we have a 1 and a 2 positive because they are all positive. So it will be now x square plus 2x plus x plus 2 equals 0. Then at this point we just factor. So we are following the factorization process when you are solving the quadratic equation. So we have x outside. x into x square is x. x into 2x is plus 2. Then here we have a 1. What can go into this is just a 1, so it's a plus 1. 1 into x is x, 1 into 2 is a 2, equals 0. So what is critical here is ensuring that these two are the same. If they're not the same, we've made a mistake. So let us fact out what is the same. That's why it's important that they're the same. If they're not the same, we've made a mistake and we cannot fact out. So we know that x plus 2 is common to both. So when you divide into this one, x plus 2, we are going to get x, which is outside. Then, when we divide x plus 2 into all these things, we're going to remain only with this one. So, it will be plus 1. So, this equals 0. So, either this one or this one is equal to 0. So, this tells me that x plus 2 equals to 0 or x plus 1 equals 0. So, what this tells me is x is equal to negative 2 or x is equal to negative 1. So, this should be negative 2, this should be negative 1 because it's close to 0. So we're looking for this. Now, we know at this point, the value of y is equal to 0 along the x-axis. So a, the a coordinate should be negative 2, comma 0. So you come here and write the value of a to be negative 2, comma 0. So that's for a. b is quicker, so b you can even solve it from here. So b, at b, 
like I said, the value of x is equal to 0. So we already know the value of x. So for b, so this is 0. Then we need to find the value of y. So we get the same equation. Whatever there is, x, we put a 0. So we are getting this equation on top. Then we say plus 3 times 0, then plus 2. So we have y is equal to 0 plus 0 plus 2. So y is equal to 2. So this at b we have 0, 2. That's the value. Then we just come here and put in a 2. Then we are okay to go. We get those two marks. Then we can go to Roman numeral 2 of m minimum turning point. So the minimum turning point, so the minimum turning point is this point. We are looking for this point at which the equation is the lowest. That's the minimum turning point. So we need to find this. So at this point, there are two ways you can solve this equation. You can use the formula or you can use differentiation. In case you forget the formula. So the formula for finding, the first thing you need to find the value of x at this point. Then you substitute into this to find the value of y. So in that case, you can just use this formula. If you can remember the formula, you just use this formula. Minus b over 2a. So in this case, this is from the equation y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. So in this case, b is 3, then x is 2. So the value of x becomes minus 3 over 2 times 1. Here the value of x is 1. So x becomes minus 3 over 2. That's the way you can do it. Then after that, you substitute in this equation to find the value of y. Alternatively, you can use the differentiation method. In case you forget the formula, which is y is equal to x plus x squared plus 3x plus 2. So the first thing is to find the differential dy. Differentiation dy dx is equal to 2x plus 3. Then equate this thing to 0. So meaning 2x plus 3 equals 0. Because at the turning point, there is no, the gradient is 0. It's neither increasing or decreasing. Then to be 2x is equal to minus 3. Then you solve for x. So x is equal to minus 3, 3 over 2, which is the same thing that we have found there. Then once you do that, in this equation, you just substitute that value. So meaning y is equal to minus 3 over 2, we square it, then plus 3, minus 3 over 2, then plus 2. So we are substituting whatever there is x in this equation, we are putting in the values of x. So when you simplify this one, we are going to get y is equal to 9 over 4, then minus 9 over 2, then plus 2 over 1. Then after this, you just look for the common denominator, which will be 4, the biggest. So 4 into 4 is a 1 times 9 is a 9. Then 2 into 4 is a 2 times 9, 18. Then 1 into 4 is 4 times 2, 8. So if you look at this one, this one will give you 17 minus 18 over 4, which will give you minus 1 over 4. So minus 1 over 4 is the value of y. Then, so the turning point now is minus 3 over 2, comma, minus 1 over 4. Minus 1 over 4 here. So, you come here and notice that this is correct because this is to the negative, then it's below also x-axis. So, that value is correct. So, once you do that, you get the other two marks. Then, we can look at him, the last question, which is we are solving this equation. So what we do is let us just create space. So we are going to have 81 minus 27x equals 0. So this is an indices and this question always comes. So what you need to do is you need to express 81 and 27 in the common base. But you raise it to a given power. So, how can I get 81? So, I know that a 3 and 
a 3 can go into 81 and 27 so this can be written as 3 times 27 will give me 81 is equal to 27x the next step is which number can I multiply itself to give me 27 is 3 3 can still go into 27 how many times 3 so this is the same as 3 times 3 times 9 is equal to 3 times 9 x is equal to 0 then this is the same as 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 equals 3 times 3 times 3 to the power x why am i putting in brackets because the power of x is raised to 27 and what is in the bracket is the product which is giving us the 27 but that is a product of 3 so how many times are we multiplying 3 here we are multiplying it in 4 times to get into 81 so meaning we have 3 to the power 4 3 to the power 4 is the same as 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 to give us 81 minus what is inside here how many times are we multiplying 3 by itself to get 27 is 3 so this is the same as 3 to the power 3 then less to the power x is equal to 0 so this tells me that 3 to the power 4 equals 3 then you can multiply these powers by the law of indices so this gives me now 3x equals 0 now this means that we have 3x equals 4 that's what it means because the bases are the same or 4 equals 3x when the bases are the same it means the power should also be the same then we solve for x we divide by 3 we divide by 3 so meaning x is equal to 4 over 3 or 1 1 over 3 like this so once you do that you are good to go you get these two marks so 4 over 3 or 1 like this so thank you for joining me in this episode please join me in the next episode as we look at the last question which is question 23 in this series of episodes that has focused on the 2024 gce mathematics paper one